Hey guys, welcome back to Fight Tonight channel. Devin Haney told to his face he won B. Jarwanti Davis. Jarwanti Davis vs. Devin Haney is one of the most highly anticipated fights in the current age of boxing. At the beginning of the year, Davis shut down the idea on social media with a fiery response. Later, he announced his fight against Frank Martin, but the refusal was met with a seemingly innocent fan request. One social media user clearly aged to see that two titans clash made a request to Tank Davis. The request read, Give us Davis vs. Haney. But Davis wasn't having it. His reply, Fuck Haney. The colorful language made it clear Haney wasn't even on his radar. Still, David Haney believed that this fight will eventually happen. But in an appearance on the Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast, the conductor hit home when Davin got told to his face of the outcome that awaited him if he were to ever take that fight. Davin Haney receives a warning about Tank's body shots. Former undisputed lightweight champion Davin Haney remains optimistic about a future showdown with Gervonta Davis, despite doubts caused by his interviews. While talking about the fight, Haney addresses the potential matchup. Acknowledging the skepticism that many have over the fight happening anytime soon. No, I mean, I definitely think so, he said, referring to the fight eventually happening. I think it's only a matter of time. The interviewer, however, expressed his belief that Davis would prevail, seeing his aggressive fighting style. I was saying Davis, I think Gervonta can't get crazy. I see in him, Davis is a little different, he said. Devin Haney's team, led by his outspoken father Bill, had been name-dropping Tank left and right. They wanted the fight, but when it came to signing with the BBC, the promotional outfit that housed Tank Davis, Tim Haney got suspicious. Bill threw out a smoke screen pointing to Ryan Garcia, their upcoming opponent, who fought under the BBC, but that was a weak party. The real question was, why didn't they sign with BBC if they were so gung ho about the Davis fight? Bill stated, if that was the only way the fight could happen, and you can see the fire we are fighting Grand Garcia right now, for under Golden Boy fought a fight with them, BBC against Tank Davis. So that, uh, that narrative. So Bill Haney didn't see any benefit in signing a contract under El Heyman. In fact, they would rather stay a free agent and work on making the fight against Tank Davis. What are your thoughts about this? Tell us in the comments section. How much was Ryan Garcia's purse? Exploring reported payouts against Gervonta Davis, Oscar Duarte and other. The highly anticipated clash between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia is finally set for April 20th. This grudge match between two young fighters with a storied history promises fireworks. This matchup holds Haney's BBC super lightweight belt on the line. The Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York will host this matchup, which will be broadcast live by the zone worldwide. But before they step in the ring, let's take a look at how much Garcia has earned from his previous boats. How much was Ryan Garcia's purse? Ryan Garcia's the biggest payday came in his April 2023 fight against Gervonta Davis. Garcia's manager revealed it as strategic 30 million pairs for Garcia, with the fight generating over 100 million in the revenue. This massive success was fueled by strong pay-per-view sales, over 1.2 million and a high even gate, 22.8 million. In contrast, Garcia's December 2023 bout against Oscar Duarte saw a significant drop in earnings. According to reports, Garcia received a guaranteed 5 million pairs for the fight. Garcia's earnings have fluctuated throughout his career. He reportedly took home a guaranteed 2 million pairs for his fight against Javier Fortuna, who is the potential for additional earnings from peer-review sales. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.